about it right now, everything's okay. No matter where you find yourself, no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life, underneath it all, everything's actually all right. You're okay. You have more power than you. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I'm super excited, I'm super happy as you guys can tell by the little intro that I tried to shoot and by the title of this video. Today I got a new frame, I got a new frame set. It's an old frame set, it's a second hand. I've been, this is in my dream list. I've been wanting to have this frame set for as long as I can remember. And finally I got, finally after a lot of searching, I got a good tip uh, from a guy in the Slow Spin Society Discord. He gave me a tip. I've been in contact for the past, I think two months uh, with the guy. And finally after negotiation and everything, the frame arrived today. So I wanted to show you guys what I got and it's this amazingly beautiful Bridgestone Anchor The PH R7, absolutely lovely, beautiful, beautiful frame. Uh, it's in very good condition, of course, there are marks of being used, of writing, but it's in really, really beautiful condition. So my plan for today is to get all the parts from my bike and put on the bike and hopefully go for a little ride today gonna have a little bit of an issue with the cockpit of course because this is the old school one inch threaded uh, headset I do have a quill stem and a handlebar that I can put there but it's not really the style that I want to go with it's basically the handlebar from the pub bike and a ITM uh, quill stem that I had just in the box in the in the my parts box so for now I'm gonna put that there until I can get a, a 1 to 1 8 1 1 8 conversion um, thingy and then I can put my handlebar and everything which also not gonna be the final form of the bike I want to get mostly Japanese parts for this frame I think it deserves um, nice Japanese parts but that's it I'm just gonna put you down and a little time lapse of me taking the other parts uh, from the other bike and uh, then I'm gonna start building, clean up first and then build the new frame and hopefully today we go out for a little ride, take some pictures of the new bike so I hope you enjoy it So I got the parts from the bike. I'm gonna be using uh, my saddle, uh, crank sets. I got a, uh, another seat post. And for now, I don't love it, but this will do until I can uh, sort out the cockpit situation. So I'm just gonna try to give it a little clean on the bike, on the frame, it's a little bit dirty. When I was in Berlin a while ago, 
I got, let me see if I have it here in handy. Yeah. So when I was in Berlin for the bike fair, I got the sample from these, it's a muck off uh, fast action bike cleaner. So I'm actually gonna give it a go. I never tried anything for muck off. So I'm gonna try to use this. I guess I just need to spray on the frame, have some paper or something and clean it up. And then I'm gonna start building it. Let's go. Uh, never mind. Uh, I was checking the instructions for this and it requires to pre-wet the bike, spray, leave it on for three to five minutes. And then uh, if I need to agitate the, the dirt part with some brush or something like that, and then wash it up again. I'm not gonna do this now because I don't wanna do this uh, here in the flat, no space, and don't wanna do this in the shower. So I'm just gonna build it. I'm gonna just uh, get some degrees just to clean it very uh, superficially and then of course take it for a nice wash later. Cockpit, I don't think it's gonna be looking as bad as I thought it would. It's gonna be alright. I'm just gonna wrap the bars with this leftover uh, bar tape I have, and I got some cheap bar ends as well. For now, it's all gonna be like that, but hopefully, with time, as I find parts that I think will fit properly this frame and the build that I wanna have, I will improve it. But for now, let's just put uh, some tapes and bar ends and uh, the wheels, chain, and it's all done. Just gonna get my shoes on, go outside, go for a little ride, fine tune, make sure that everything is nicely and aligned, take some pictures and enjoy. I can't wait to get outside. Let's go.
and feels good. Oh shit, I got myself stuck. Feels good. The very first impression on a bike is really good. I'm super happy how the bike behaves. Of course, I need to get used to it because it's it's different. The geometry from, from the track bike that I was riding to this one, oh, don't fall. Um, I've been riding the same track bike now, I think almost for the past year or so. So I was super used to all the behaviors of that bike. Now I'm learning how to ride this bike. But the very first impression is really, really good. I think that's a well-deserved beer. Cheers, guys. Oh, it's nice and warm today. Feels good. Uh, what else can I say? I'm, I'm totally not convinced on the one inch um, quill stem. I think the frame has uh, not, uh, big enough tubings and thick and all aero that the A, uh, A had 118 with a nice thick handlebar, the 31.8, the, the standard that you can see in all the bikes now. I think this frame can fit that, even though the head tube is a bit thin overall, it's it's a large tubing frame kind of, so I think it'll fit. I really don't like the view from the top to see the, the stem there. And also these bars feel too narrow for me now. I've been riding the same handlebar God knows for how many years now. Uh, which is a 72 these I don't know what it is so I don't like that I definitely have to change it so I'm gonna look for an adapter so I can run my a head uh, stem and my handlebars I just need the the sizing seems to be perfect I just feel like I have to raise my seat post a tiny little bit but the sizing oh, like a glove Overall, I'm stoked. I'm super excited. Let me give you a better look of the bike now. I'm thinking that I want to go with all black components as always. So if you guys have any ideas for cool Headset. I'm trying to avoid to go to to Chris King just because it's it's what well, you see on an old build. I don't want. I was thinking that in the end, like I said, I wanted to get hopefully all Japanese parts on it, even get wheel sets, crank sets, everything. In the end, I might just at the end of this build will be a completely different project, but. For now, I really would like your guys' opinion, so please leave in the comments. If you know of a very nice, very cool, decent uh, headset that would fit here. Preferably black. Let me know in the comments, a brand, uh, the, the model, so I can start looking for it. And uh, meanwhile, maybe also what, what a nice uh, adapter because i'm gonna need one i saw one from dada looks nice and simple black so i think i'm just gonna try to find that and order it but let me know let me know if you if you find something but for now that she is i'm super happy that i have a dream bike that i always wanted to have let me know what you guys think super stoked gonna go for a ride but i hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys are as excited as i am uh, for my new frame again put in the comments if you have cool parts cool ideas how to build this let me know and i'll see you guys on the next one